Excerpts from President Ikeda's essay, 50 Years from the Sapporo Summer Campaign. In a short-term campaign, win with speed. August 18, 2007. The General Napoleon cried out, I won't take two days to do something which I can accomplish in two hours. And also, whether or not we can be successful in any major work is determined by a narrow difference. The memories of the summer of 52 years ago ring in my heart. History moved in 10 days. This was a historic struggle that occurred in 1955, which is now known as the Sapporo Summer Campaign. It was a short 10-day win-or-lose battle that began August 16th. As the person responsible for a group dispatched to Hokkaido, the northern part of Japan, for the summer guidance trip, I led this campaign in which we shakabukud 388 households in just 10 days, marking the foremost result in Japan. With a smile, President Toda said, Daisaku, you did it again. You created the foremost history of propagation in Japan. I was happy. The first and foremost key in winning in a short campaign lies in unity. The shorter our campaign, the more we need to pull ourselves together and unite. The fellow members of Hokkaido and I were nobly and firmly connected with each other with a powerful determination as disciples to absolutely accomplish President Toda's dream of 750,000 households. What determines victory in our campaigns for Kosen Rufu is not the number of people, rather, it is the united based on the spirit of many in body but one in mind in which we all share a common vow. Nietzsche and Daishonin asserts, although Nietzsche and his followers are few, because they are different in body but united in mind, they will definitely accomplish their great mission of widely propagating the Lotus Sutra. The 700,000 soldiers led by King Chao of Yin, who was a tyrant, was defeated by 800 united soldiers led by King Wu of Chao. It is said that the soldiers who were forced by the ill-minded King Chao to go out and fight lacked any fighting spirit. They held their weapons reversely, opening up a path for King Wu's forces. The second key to victory lies in making a dash at the start. In a track race, the shorter the distance of a race, the more crucial it becomes how we start the race. In a 100 meter race, victory or defeat is determined at the tense moment when the signal gun is fired. My fighting spirit blazed from the moment I stepped down on Sapporo Station 50 years ago. We have won our battle. These were my first words to those who came to greet me at the station. From day one, I took action on a full-fledged scale. A bar graph, to indicate our results, was already displayed when I arrived at the lodging which became the base of our campaign. We were completely prepared. We will have the upper hand if we get a head start. If we lose the initiative, we will double the burden we must shoulder and take twice as long. On the other hand, if we take the initiative, the time we must spend is halved and the effect is doubled. President Toda often said, Even a fleet can never win over a troop that is faster in speed if it should arrive late to the battleground. The shorter the campaign is, seizing the initiative becomes even more indispensable. The third key point is that in a short campaign, victory is determined by the keen determination of the central figure. Before the Sapporo summer campaign, I thoroughly continued to pray and exert my wisdom. I took lightning speed action based on concrete tactics. Back then, we were limited in our methods of communication. The main way to communicate was through writing letters. While engaging in a campaign in Tokyo, I took the pen and wrote, devoting every spare moment. I continue to wholeheartedly write letters to my friends in Hokkaido, severely competing with time. I headed for Hokkaido after completing preparations with the determination to ensure that the desperate efforts made by my fellow members are absolutely connected to victory. 
The formula to win in a campaign lies in our perseverance and tenacity. We must blaze with the resolve to win no matter what. President Toda was also always strong in his will, saying, Even in a fight, the one that throws even one more stone than the opponent will win. Lastly, a battle is won by wisdom. At any rate, in a short-term campaign, the only option is to run with all our might until we reach our goal. If this was a 100-meter race run by the world's fastest athletes, it would only take approximately 10 seconds. They must run wholeheartedly without looking to the sides. We cannot possibly win if we are swayed by the situation of those around us. We do not need to fear. In a campaign, you will not know what it will be like until you actually engage in it. Those who have a powerful and positive spirit will win. The more challenging our campaign, the more it requires speed. By taking action, we can break through devilish functions and protect the members. Leaders without speed are irresponsible. They are cowardly and lack compassion. After all, Action taken with lightning speed at the crucial moment is the ironclad rule for victory.